Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our show and today we are going to talk about melanin and the importance of melanin in human. Melanin is a natural skin pigment. Hair, skin and eye color in people and animals mostly depends on the type and amount of melanin they have. Special skin cells called melanocytes can make melanin. Everyone has the same number of melanocytes, but most people have more melanin than others. Melanin is a dark substance that we find all over the universe. We find it in the cosmos, in heaven, in water, on earth, and in all that lives. This molecule is intelligent because it is the primary dynamic of all cells. It is the primary dynamic at the heart and on the surface of the human body. This intelligence is responsible for the formation of the nervous system. Each part of the nervous system has black dots that allow information to circulate. Melanin refines or improves the nervous system in such a way that messages from the brain reach other areas of the human body more quickly. Like many substances in the body, the chemical makeup of melanin includes the mixture of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Melanin has become a popular term with the black community. The term is used to describe one's complexion, such as how light or that their skin may be. Melanin is a natural skin pigmentation. In fact, melanin does not only affect the color of the skin. It, in addition, it also determines your hair, eyes, color, which makes it all unique and easily identified to a particular race. The amount of melanin a person has or produces is all based on genetics. There are different types of melanin. Melanocytes. Melanocytes are special types of skin cells that make melanin. All races carry the same number of melanocytes. What sets us apart from one another is the amount of melanin that is made from melanocytes. Some people will make more melanin than others based on this factor. For example, if the melanocyte in your body makes a small amount of melanin, your skin, your iris, and your eyes, and the hair will be light. This is more common in Caucasians. If your cells make more melanin, it is understood that your eyes, hair, and skin will be darker most common in African Americans. Again, this is all based on genes. Genes from your parents. If your parents have a darker skin complexion, you will most likely be dark. If they are lighter, you will probably be light. What is so awesome about melanocytes is that the special skin cells have the ability to produce protective skin darkening pigmentation. Why do we need melanin? Finally, melanin is what allows us to live our day-to-day -day life without any restrictions. Take care of it by eating more food that are rich in antioxidants. This includes dark liquid green foods, dark chocolates without sugar, dark berries, and vegetables. So in today's time, we are embracing culture and diversity is slowly making its way to becoming more and deadly accepted. I encourage the young black royal women to use this time during social distancing to polish and wear your crown. Continue thriving to diminish colorism prejudice. Present our culture. Bring awareness of this topic to the community and inspire a world 
of beautiful melanin coins, one crown at a time. Always remember, your color is your crown. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to follow our page and share our videos to other friends.